Hello and welcome to ADA University Library instructional video series. This video will demonstrate you how to search for print resources on library discovery search engine, how to control provided functions and carry out other issues. To perform search in ADA library collections, it's necessary to enter the ADA University website and proceed to library's website. Here you can get acquainted with libraries, resources, and services. To enter your library account, click on my account icon. The opening page will ask you to sign into your My ADA account. Sign in will take you to ADA Library Discovery search engine. Here you can conduct basic or advanced search to see library resources in different formats, both physical and electronic, and on various subjects. Please check preceding tutorial for main functions of the WorldCat Discovery search engine. There are additional action buttons such as a site, link, email, and save, which are handy functions in the WorldCat Discovery that may help you to share items from search results. In each entry, you can cite the record or export the reference data to EndNote, RefWorks, or to a file in a RIS format, or you also can select a citation style from the list presented, then copy and paste the citations into a bibliography. We can share the record link, email the record to up to five addresses at once, or use a save option to build a temporary list of resources. Saved items can be viewed in my items page. It is also possible to create and share the list of saved resources and save searches. Up to 100 entries from one or multiple searches may be included in a single list. It is also possible to email, cite, move or delete the selected temporary items. Let's create new list for these entries. Click on Create List button. List name is a required field. There is also optional list description field which may help you to describe the content or purpose of the included items. As soon as you click on Save button, the temporary entries are no longer visible in my items page. You may view them either by clicking on the provided link in the confirmation message or see all your saved lists by clicking on my personal lists button. Each saved list can be managed with email, site, mover, and delete buttons. You can add or edit notes in items in saved lists. Deleting entries or lists is an irreversible action. Another feature of the WorldCat Discovery is Course Reserves page. It can be very useful for students and professors. Students can add their current or upcoming courses, their activity periods, titles of the textbooks and other course materials they use for courses and also perform other activities. Let's demonstrate you how to create a course. Click on Create a Course button and fill in the fields according to the syllabus info provided by the professors. It's possible to add multiple instructors in case of need. After creating the course, users can add required textbooks on the course page. For this, it's necessary to perform search using search indexes and search terms and find required course material, then to click on Reserve button and confirm selection. This tool allows students and faculty to plan their course materials needs for each course. Students can also add some notes under each reserved material. When you complete adding required materials, click on the button I'm done reserving materials. Only users can see their reserved materials. Library staff cannot manage users' course reserves, personal lists, or saved searches pages. After you finish your work in the system, it's recommended to sign out from your account. Thank you for your attention. Should you have any questions or need library assistance, do not hesitate to contact us.